tile. So today we're going to work out can you make your own dungeon bowl board? Part one. So for me to make the dungeon bowl tiles with this version, I'm going to 3D print them. So first thing you need, 3D printer. I can recommend a plastic printer like an Ender. Um, I've got an Ender 3 Pro and that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, for, and then you need some tiles. So I'm going to use tiles from this excellent site. This is uh, Printable Scenery. Uh, they've got a load of great uh, terrains and details. Um, I'll stick the link in the description. Go and have a look at them. They are amazing. Best thing about them, it's the open lock system. This allows you to get a whole heap of floors and use them uh, linking into each other. So here's some examples of details. Now the ones I've used, it's the basic Rampage base pack. So look at this, you can get all of this for free and this is everything you need to make a dungeon bowl pitch. Uh, you're gonna take a bit of time with it though. Um, and most importantly, that clip. That clip's gonna allow you to put the pieces together piece by piece by piece. So once you've downloaded uh, the base pack, you'll find all of these files are in it. The, files, the file I'm using today is the rough stone floor file. So into Cura, and you can see that file there. Look at that. Nice level of detail uh, and accuracy. And uh, what you've got here is you've got a set of supports that help uh, you print the thing without having to print on any supports. So a uh, key part here, the tiles are 28 mil tiles. They're designed for Dungeons and Dragons. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is scale them. And after a little bit of maths, uh, you're looking for the scale to be 136 on the X scale and 136 on the Y scale. You don't need to scale up the Z scale because that's the height. So you don't need to make them any height higher. Um, you just got to remember to use exactly the same scaling measures with the tile. Now I've printed these uh, with a 0.2 layer started, but I've also used adaptive layers so that when you get to the end, you get a really nice finish on each of the top of these uh, tiles. Uh, the good news, that's the easy bit. Uh, it's going to take about three hours to print a tile like this with adaptive layers with the settings I've got in. Uh, the bad news is you're going to need 58 of these tiles uh, to make the same layouts that you can make with the dungeon bowl box. So get printing. Okay, so you've been printing for days and uh, running through. What do you get at the end? Well, this is the tile when printed at the end. As you can see, lovely texture, uh, nice little supports on the side. You're going to need to clip those out. I'll show you those in a second. So the first thing you need to do in the finish is take off and make sure you've cleaned any of the edges. I print with a brim. So the first thing I need to do is remove all of those. Otherwise, they're not going to go together. Uh, the second thing you need to do is then clip those uh, little bits out. So you can see uh, this is a side with all the supports left in. That's a side with the supports taken out. You don't need to take them all out because you only need to take them out where you're going to use a clip. So you can be a little bit considerate when you're taking those through. And then clips. Well, that's an important point. So you are going to need one or two clips. And when I say one or two clips, I mean one or two clips. Each of these will clip two tiles together. So depending on your configuration, you're gonna need probably about 30 of these, probably a few more. Um, they're not the strongest thing in the world because you can unclip and unclip uh, the tiles together. And actually these are the things that you don't mind breaking. Uh, you're gonna need to clip a load of these out uh, and they're quite good fun to clip through. Uh, remember, when you're printing these, to scale these up from the pack, 136 times 136, otherwise you're going to get a lot of uh, clips that don't fit your tiles. And don't scale them up on the Z, otherwise you're going to get a lot of clips which are now bigger than your tiles. So, now we've done it, let's build a bowl. So, here's 58 sets of tiles, and then layouts. You want to try and make the layout a bit fun, but also symmetrical. I'm going to go for a pretty standard layout to start off with and build the tiles. 
So first board layout, as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. This is the unclipped version. Uh, this would be an end zone. Uh, that would be an end zone. Uh, you've got plenty of uh, big corridors and big, and big rooms over here to place your teleporters and your chests in and you can really have a lot of fun with those. Uh, obviously these corridors here, the 2x2 two two and the 2x2, two two, they're going to be easy to block up are all of these. Uh, we all know how much we hate dwarfs. Uh, but yeah, it works. So let's see what we can do with that. So I hope you've seen everyone. We can print the tiles absolutely fine. Uh, print the clips, put them together. They're not going to be too much to carry around. It's going to be pretty easy to do. Uh, but uh, using a plain tile like that is like using a set of grey miniatures or in the box case, purple and orange miniatures. Something's going to be, need to be done to them. So next part of this uh, build will be the putting them together, priming them and working out how to paint them. Imagine a bit of dry brushing is going to be involved and let's see if we can get some nice features onto the rooms. We're also going to be looking at uh, the key missing parts that we don't have. So we've got no chests, no teleporters and potentially no doorways as well. Uh, fortunately, we've got dugouts that I've printed from a 3D printing Kickstarter. So we could use those and the good old ones in the original starter set should work fine. But let's see where we go. If you want to see the next part of the video uh, like and subscribe and we'll put the next one up in a couple of weeks probably when we've got some work done cracking on with it till then good luck happy blood bowling